Okay, you just captured your home movies and now you're ready to share them with friends and family and you also want a safe place to keep them. And I can't think of a more safe place than Google Drive. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. The first thing you need to do if you don't have one already is to get a Gmail account. All you have to do is go to google.com and click on here where it says sign in and then create an account and for myself or a business if you're doing a business. And then once you create your account, you can log into that account and I have one here. So you, when you have multiple accounts, it just allows you to choose which account you want to sign into. And I'm gonna do my gigabytes. Once you've signed into your account, if you go to this area right up here and click on it, then you can go to Drive. This is your Google Drive. And this is where you can keep all of your home movies. They'll be safe and you'll be able to share it with friends and family. Now I'm gonna go to a home movie that uh, I created here recently. So open up my finder. And I'm gonna go to home movie number one. And all I have to do is drag that in. And you can see it's uploading it here. Less than a minute. Didn't take very long at all. So now it's in my Google Drive and I can share it with friends and family. In order to share it, you just click on it. You can right click and share, or you can come up here to the little person. Click on the person, share, share with people and groups. Okay, there are a few things you can do. You can put a person's email address in there and it will send them an email and share it with them, or you can send them a link. It's real easy, it will go right to the video if you send them the link. Now you can change who views the link. Anyone on the internet with this link can view. That's the viewer, or you can change it to a com commenter. Anybody can comment on it, say what they think about it. An editor, anyone on the internet with this link can edit it, which means they could delete it or do whatever they need to, or even download it. So if you wanna give download permissions, then you'll want to give them editor permissions so that they can download it. Then you just copy that link and you shoot it over to them. That's the easiest way to share with somebody, is to do it that way. The neat thing about Google Drive is you can also share on your phone. If you go here, how to get started with Google Drive, there's a whole pamphlet here or instruction booklet on how to share your stuff anywhere. Talks about creating folders in Google Drive, talks about sharing if you're on, a, on an app, iOS device or an Android device, either one, on a PC, on a Mac, share together. This document is golden. It tells you everything you need to know about Google Drive. I recommend downloading the app if you're an iOS there's an app in the App Store, Google Drive. I recommend downloading that onto your phone so that you can open it up and see your pictures on your phone, which is pretty awesome. You can And you can do it if you have an Android, you can do it if you have um, an iOS system. So the nice thing is it works with everything. And that's why I love Google. It works with everything. And so you can share it with anybody, no matter what device they have. Another thing it does is it stores it in the cloud. And there's one other thing that I wanna show you with this program, and that is Backup and Sync. Backup and Sync is something that you can download on your computer from Google. And when you put your files in Backup and Sync, it will automatically send them to Google Drive and it will be on your computer too. So you're actually putting it in two places at once. It's on your computer and it's in the cloud. So if something happened and something horrible happened, your house burned down or something like that, all of your memories would be safe in the cloud. Your computer might be gone, but as long as they're in the cloud, you'll be safe. So I totally recommend downloading this program and it talks about it in the startup guide. I'm gonna show you which one exactly. Okay, where you wanna go is this area here where it talks about downloading Google Drive on your phone. It also talks about an app on your computer. I totally recommend this. Click on that and it will bring you to this backup and sync page. 
Now, if you'll notice the address on here is google.com slash drive slash download. So you can access it there as well. It's called backup and sync. When you download it, it will install. So you just download it to your computer, open it up and install it. Once it's installed, and I'm not going to do it because it's already on my computer. It's up here. Once it's installed, it puts this little icon on your computer. And this is a little folder that's on your computer itself. And if you look at my finder here, you have Google Drive Olson Media Network. Uh, if I want to add one, I don't have one for my gigabytes. I'm going to show you how to add one. You go up here to the drive, and this will also help walk you through when you're setting it up as well. You go here to this, these little three dots, do add new account. Okay. And it's going to open up this page, click on get started. And you got to sign in with your account. Is my giggle bytes at gmail.com. Okay. And then it will say choose folders from your computer to continuously back up on Google Drive. Now, if you want, Google Drive will back up folders and documents on your computer, but I don't do that because it takes up space. There's you get 15 gig on Google Drive for free. Anything after that, you, you start paying. I don't want it to back up anything on my computer. All I want is the Google Drive folder on my computer. So uncheck all those boxes, photo and video upload size. Um, if it does the original, it will use storage. If you want to do high quality, which isn't the original quality, it's a bit of a downgrade from original, then it lets you upload all of those photos for free. So any photos that you want to do high quality on your phone, when you download Google Drive on your phone, there's a Photos app that you can download as well from Google, and it will let you upload unlimited free unlimited free photos uh, with this high quality format. So I just do original quality. I like mine in original quality. I don't really upload any fold folders. So I just leave all of these blank and then I hit next. Okay, got it. Sync everything on my drive. I don't want to do that either because I don't want everything that's in Google Drive. Sometimes I have a lot of stuff in there. So I like to just select which ones I want. This one, I don't have a lot in there. So I can do select all because I just started it. If you just started it, then this is probably the way to go. But if you already have Google Drive, you may you may not want to do sync everything because it will sync everything to your computer. I just select the folders I want to sync and then I hit start. Okay, now there it is, back up and sync. And it, what it's doing is it's syncing everything that that's in the cloud, it's syncing it to my computer, everything that I asked it to sync. And I did ask it to sync the stuff that was there. You see it coming down? Now here's the cool thing. Okay, I'm going to open up Elgato here because this is the one that uh, we showed you how to use. This is the program that we use to transfer videos. So if I go into Elgato and I go up here to Preferences, Elgato Video Capture Preferences, and it says Save Movies In. If I press this and go to Other, it will pop up my Finder, and this would be the same on a Windows as well. Only Windows wouldn't be Finder. Just say, where do you want to save it? And you just go to the area you want to save it in. Well, I want to save it to my Gigglebytes Google Drive. Open that. And now, when I finish my video, it's going to save it on my computer in this Google Drive folder, and then it's going to upload to the cloud automatically. So all I have to do is create my home movie in Elgato Video Capture, and it will automatically upload to Google Drive and be on my computer when I'm done capturing. It does all of that automatically for me. I don't even have to think about it. And now if I've shared a folder of my family videos or I share my Google Drive with my friends and family, every time it uploads, they'll be able to see that video as it uploads. So it's pretty amazing so software. 
pretty amazing what you can do with Google Drive and the video capture. So I totally recommend Google Drive for capturing, storing your videos, and sharing it with friends and family. It'll be safe if anything bad happened, and it's easy to share with friends and family. Not only that, you can get it on your computer and in the cloud at the same time, right after you transfer the video. So easy. I hope this helped you out. Best of luck when you start transferring your home movies and sharing it with friends and family. This is going to help you out a ton.